Well, you guys asked for it and I delivered. Who will be the low light king? Is it the Autel Evo Lite Plus, the Evo 2 Pro, or the Mavic 3? Let's talk about it. What is up guys, California Phantom? You asked for it and I delivered. It is the low light performance test that you guys have all been asking for. Will the Evo Lite Plus outperform the Evo 2? Will the, the Mavic 3 outperform all of them? I have some very interesting results, but first the provisors. The provisors are simple and that is first and foremost, no denoising. I'm not going to be doing any after effects using my software. I want this to come straight out of the drone so there is no bias between the software and any given aerial platform. The other provisor is going to be that I'm going to have some automatic camera setting modes and some manual composition setting modes. Obviously the Evo 2 Pro doesn't have a particular night setting. It's going to be manual composition only on that one as well as the Mavic 3. The Evo Lite Plus I will test their night mode and I think you're going to be surprised. And without further ado, let's get to it. So without any editing, without any grading, without any denoise and any of that nonsense after effects, I think the results speak for themselves. The Evo Light Plus shocked me with the night setting mode. The night setting mode really is the difference maker in this comparison. The shocking thing was I expected the Mavic 3 to do far better with its larger sensor in the lower light, but when it came down to it, 
in my opinion, for the cost of what you're paying for the Mavic 3, you're not seeing the results that you're getting from the Lite Plus, even if it's aftermarket or even if it's software related changes and not sensor and camera driven uh, related uh, effects. Uh, you know, the night mode obviously for Autel, bang up job, fantastic. But I feel like right now for a travel drone, for, for making uh, content on YouTube, the Evo Lite is it. The Evo Lite Plus with its one inch sensor, the added night software, I really hope, Autel if you're look, listening, if you can make that go over on the Pro model, that would be awesome. I mean, you guys have and claim that the Evo 2 Pro is the premier platform. It should, with software, with uh, firmware update, should have this night mode. It's absolutely amazing, and in my opinion, is the difference maker between all three aerial platforms. DJI, go back to the drawing board. Um, maybe we'll see something on a software update or something down the line that'll catapult the Micro Four Thirds sensor. Um, but as it stands right now, I liked straight out of the camera what the Evo Light Plus was producing. Before anybody asks, I'm gonna put all of the files or most of the files in a Dropbox folder. It's gonna be in the description so you guys can take the files, play with them, put them in your editor, find out which one looks the best to you so you guys can make the best decision on your purchasing needs. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment down below. Which drone impressed you the most? Was it the Mavic 3? Did that kind of creep up on you? Or was it that special night mode on the Light Plus? It blew me away. I always love hearing from you guys. Go ahead and comment down below and we'll catch you on the next adventure.